Hey everybody, welcome to the first official episode of Good Guy Roadhouse. And I have the great pleasure to have as a guest today, Bailey Reed from worldofatlas.com, the fiction director. He has his uh, Master in Fine Arts from Queens University. He's been published in Ten House and Pace Magazine, as well as several other uh, anthologies. Um, you can read one of his stories about atomic insects online at tenhouse.com. And today, is that true? Yeah, absolutely. Why'd you laugh? Yeah, just, you know, just thinking about that story. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. <laughs> you just think about that story. Um, and what we uh, uh, want to talk about today are is um, adventures. Without no. further ado, I'm going to ask Bailey, what makes a good adventure? As a player, what I like is um, uh, P PC-driven action is one thing. I mean, I like to feel like I have some agency in the campaign or the world or the adventure that's going on. I agree. I mean, I, the Dragonlance was one of the first very popular... I always felt like I was... Being herded? Herded. And the term, yeah. and the, and the term we hear is railroady. Yeah, you know, right. you know, we don't yeah. want to be rail... You know, you don't want an adventure to be railroady. Where in a novel, you're going to follow the characters regardless. You're not going to go off the but page. I mean, that is one of the differences between... You know, writing for writing an adventure and writing, say, a novel or a short story. I mean, you want you want to build in that room for the for the players to feel like they're they're a participant, not just a, a pawn. I've had, I've had the great fortune of having uh, Bailey uh, DM me through <sighs> tons of great adventures. And what uh, some of the modules that everybody would have heard of: yeah. Temple of Elo and Evil. Um, the Giants, Lich Lords, mm -hmm. one of the a rare one trips. I'm yeah, a huge fan of the Lich. Yeah. That's why I hunt them. That's why That's I'm a right. Lich hunter. What's your all time favorite adventure the, that you've read? And I, I know, well, I know you wrote some of your own really good ones like Shadowland and Kandahar, but uh, no, the things, I'm looking for published that other people will have heard about. Well, I, I think, um, I think the my my favorite, you know, my favorite. I, I guess you would call it a, a cycle of um, linked. Adventures, but the one that made the most impression on me was the, the giant, the three giants. Oh, against the giants! Against the giants, you know, that, that um, a, as I recall, I mean, led into uh, another series of linked adventures uh, featuring the Dro. But the giants. Yeah, they, I think of those as kind of like the first adventure path. You had the right, yeah. Steading and the hill giant chief going into the frost, frost giant, giant Jarl and the hill. I mean, the fire giant king, and then you went underground. Tackling the drow yeah. and all their creepy, spidery, hiding in the shadows, waiting to kill you kind of way. And, and, and I think it was the first time where I encountered something that, uh, yeah, it was this unified whole, but it had this narrative to it. It was this, I mean, it was almost a conspiracy that you were, that you were following based on clues that you were given or, or that you would discover if you were observant enough. Uh, and... And that, I mean, that aspect it really kind of opened up what was possible in a, um, you know, in a, in a, in an adventure. It was the one that really made an impact. Me too. I, my, my hobbit left of light finger was, <laughs> <laughs> was, was thoroughly, thoroughly engaged with that set of adventures. Yeah. That and the, uh, <laughs> and I really love the village of Hobbit. I, I, I think that was a really right. great uh, old right. school adventure. Yeah. Of the new stuff, I think we both, you know, you definitely love uh, Carrion Crown with its whispering tyrant and Lich mm -hmm. at the end. Yes. That was off, awesome. Yeah. You know, one thing I didn't like, and, one of the, and I was just highly anticipating uh, this uh, one, was the Reign of Winter. Um, and I, what, I, what I had problems with Reign of Winter... Well, one, going into contemporary times. Yeah, but, you know, I thought what could work if uh, I was doing that is if you started with characters that were in the trenches during World War I and then they found this portal and went to a fantasy world. There's something low-tech and also low-powered about an adventure to me that is going to just centered around modern weaponry. Sure, you have big guns and and, mm -hmm. and and stuff, but when you're just shooting a rifle, you're basically doing something that protection from normal missiles will easily put aside. So I don't see what you know what why that would why the magic wouldn't work on that. And then also there's the uh, my problem with Rain of Winter also is the is, is the first module has a close the portal kind of ending. 
you know, close the portal. You know, there's these monsters coming in and you close the portal. That's it's not a first level adventure. You know, that's a I see what that's you're a later in the adventure path. So yeah. I almost think they have this out of order. Yeah, yeah so it's it. almost like it's it's just jumping to the end too soon. And you're what you're talking about is a is sort of a process of building inside out or from small to large. And and you know, to go back on the giants and the drow would be almost like starting with the drow. Starting already deep into the drow and saying, This is where you're gonna start. Instead of starting small with you know the whole standing of the hill giant chief there's been raids going on and like letting the letting the conspiracy and the and the and the um, difficulty sort of escalate where in carrying crown which we both love so much you start with the yeah. with the the harrowstone adventure where you're dealing with a little ghosts mm -hmm. just a little bit of touch of the undead then we go in and we're dealing with a flesh golem as the is kind of the, right. is the big center thing in the murder mystery and all that. Then we go to werewolves, so we're stepping up our levels of See, horror yeah. to vampires. Now I'm going to ask a loaded question of you: Are adventures literature? Personally, well, I guess and one thing is, what do you mean by literature? I mean, when I think of literature, I think of um, I, I guess the the classic definition of literature, which is um, things in the uh, drama. Poetry, fiction, um, the, the three classic genres. I, I, using that definition, I don't think they're literature. I think they have a they have a completely different purpose. Any other things from, from it, but when you're writing an adventure or, or a novel, we've talked about how. I mean, you're what you're doing is you're, you're almost providing um, this very interesting setting, and you're scattering clues or whatever. But you you have to leave it open. This is the whole this is the whole point of yeah, it. You PC can't driven. complete the story. The PCs come in and complete the story. Or so yeah, is it really story. literature if you're not completing the story as you're yeah. writing it? And so and that's what I'm saying. Um, just in defining the terms of what we mean by literature, what I mean by literature, um, you know, I say no for those reasons. Stuff that you know comes out of Paizo and um, with uh, James Jacobs, Wes Schneider as their uh, editors. They're very compelling reads. You know, I'm interested in what's going to happen next. And, oh, okay. But then you're right. You are just kind of fantasizing a little bit as you go. Well, you're what's a good player character that would have been going to, to, to go through this? Yeah. But as a, as a writer, you, when you're writing literature, you... Then you, yeah, you're, you're, it, it is, you know, you finish the narrative arc. That's and that's what you and that's what you're giving to the reader, and like I say, there's a whole different set of things that you're getting from that. I mean, when I when I when I play or when I read an adventure, I mean, I'm 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 going to it for a different set of things that I'm going to than I go for literature. I mean, and to imagine how is this going to play out, you know? Oh, are they going to pick up on that? Are they going to figure that out? I mean, or, or are they just not going to finish? Or are they going to be defeated? Are they going to just, are they going to miss the clues and just not be able to, you know, wrap this thing up? I mean, that's what I'm thinking along those terms, and that's that's a different different thought process than I when I open up a novel or a, or a short story or you know, play poem or whatever. It's completely different. Now, if we if, if modules fall a little short on lit being literature, or just they, different, yeah, yeah, they're different. Mm -hmm. Well, do they fall short on being art? Is is the construction of an adventure art? No, it's 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 imaginative. It it, it offers the free play of imagination. Yeah, it definitely it's, draws on creativity. Yeah, creativity. There's good and there's there's good ones and there's bad ones. There's good ones and bad ones. I mean, it's the. I always thought it was just one of the best games, in which one I'm still playing it. It yeah. was the game that allowed for the most um, free exercise of the imagination. So, so you know. To say that Without criticism, you just don't think it's I art. I just don't think it's art, yeah. Right. Well, that's great. Well, we'll end on that as right. uh, this being yeah. a... Right. Well, we very much appreciate Bailey coming down here. Thanks for having Good me. Guy Roadhouse. Thanks and, for having uh, me. And look for uh, the next uh, uh, vlog on this where we'll, uh, where we'll uh, probably be talking about what makes a good dungeon master. We're going to have Jim, oh. Fel Jim Felinowski um, joining us as our guest for that episode. I'll be tuning so in. So thank you and tune <laughs> in for that. Yeah.